everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Hope everything's going your way today. Today, I'm coming to you with a first impression video. Yes. Today, I'm coming to you with a first impression, swatches and demo of the Paris by Night palette by By Terry. Yes. The By Terry Paris by Night palette. So, if you want to see how the palette performs and get my take on this here palette, then just keep okay, on. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Man. Okay, guys, so yeah. I told you, got my peeps to 2020. It's all about adding value to my collection. And I found in doing so, guys, it's about stepping out of my comfort zone of giving Sephora and Alta and the drugstore all of my coin. And that means more than ever giving Andy Brez a chance, guys. That's here I sit, holding down my possession. The By Terry Paris by Night Pally. And I actually stumbled upon this palette when I was on Instagram, chroming the Andy Makeup Spotlight. And while it definitely intrigued me that this is a France brand, it intrigued me more when I saw both the outside and inside of the Pally. So first, let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is really cute. It has by Terry, Terry Black Paris, on the front of the pally. And on the front of the palette, you'll also find what I can only assume, because I've never been, a Paris-inspired design. And the material of the packaging reminds me a lot of the Pat McGrath packaging of her bigger palettes. On the back of the palette, you'll find the name of the palette, indication letting you know the palette has a 12-month shelf life, that the palette was made in Italy, and you'll also find the net weight of the palette. And the net weight of the pans in the palette, which there are 10 of them, is 1.35 grams slash 0.047 ounces each. When you open up the palette, it has a full-size mirror. And when you open her up, guys, here are the colors. Would you look at them? Would you look at them? Would you look at them? The palette has 10 shades, 6 shimmers, and the rest are all mattes. And upon looking at the palette, guys, this palette is so aesthetically pleasing. And when looking at the color story of the palette, it is nothing short of luxe. And the imprints in the shade of the palette is the main reason I wanted to do a first impression for you guys, because, uh, I did not want to let you guys see this palette after it's been tattered and torn by Lily. And to tell you the truth, guys, even though your girl's never been, just looking at this palette makes me feel like I'm in Paris a little bit. And to tell you the truth, guys, after looking at the color story of the palette in person, I almost don't want to use the palette. Now, I will not lie to you guys. Fast Harry is nothing short of a luxury brand. So, yeah. along with a luxury brand, does come luxury prices. This palette ran me a whopping $56. However, I do still believe it's important for me to show brands like this on my channel also. Because at the end of the day, guys, if I was interested in the palette, I'm sure there's at least one more person out there that's interested in the palette too. So let's get started. Now, I don't exactly know which look I'm going for today, but I'm almost certain, guys, that I will be most definitely using this purpley plummy shade and this turquoise bluey shade. So I'm going to go ahead and base my eyes with my P. Louise base and rumor too, and we'll get started. Guys, so I did quite a bit of work with the camera on pause, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe all this off, face my eyes with my rumor number two, yeah. 
Now he's back to try and duplicate what I did. Damn it, Lily. You did not press play, though. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's try this again. Yowie. Okay, guys. First, going in with this brown shade, which has a grayish undertone. I'm going to work that in my crease. Again. And I'm going to be using the BH number 8 brush from this, my Ray Ray brush set, to get that done. And, guys. The pigmentation of these shades, at least the masks that I used, are definitely on point. As a matter of fact, guys, this looks like it's darker on my lid than in the pan. And I guess it's good that I'm doing a do-over, because uh, I went a little higher than I wanted to the last time. So hopefully I learn from my mistakes and keep it low this time. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. That's pigmentation. And yes, you missed the devastation that I went through. Knowing that, the imprint of my designs are now gone. But at the end of the day, guys, all good things come to an end. And I'm not mad at this pigmentation. Guys, would you look at that pigmentation? And I think the thing I like most about this shade is that it has almost zero kick up in the pan. And since I'm going to stop the shimmers at midpoint, I'm just going to go ahead and take this same shade and put it in my outer V. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, you are not going to get anything short of smokiness when you are using this palette. So if smokiness is not your thing, you will most definitely want to steer clear of this palette. But that pigmentation is on point. Okay, guys, I'm going in with my Luxie 131 mini angle brush. I'm going in with this grease type shade. And I'm going to use that to blend out the first shade that I used. And guys, when I used this shade before, I found that it blended out rather nicely. And I'm going to keep this blend as low as I can, guys. Because I really don't want the smokiness going all the way up to my brow. Yeah. These shades are pigmented. It's all get out. And now I'm just trying to marry the two shades together to get rid of any harsh lines. And now going in with my number eight brush from the BS Cosmetics Marble Lux set to soften up my blend even more. I'm going to go in with this cream type shade. And I'm going to just blend out the lighter gray shade that I used. Okay, guys, that brush wasn't doing what I wanted to. So going in with the pointed crease brush. From the eye set from the Sephora collection, I'm going to try and blend it out with the white shirt. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a nice blend.
guys. These shades are so easy to blend out. Guys, do you see how those shades are fade one into the other? Oh, yeah. These mats are blending like a dream. Okay, guys. Now that I'm happy with my blend game, now the part that everybody came here for, the lid. First, going in with this turquoise shade here. I'm going to put that on the first third of my lid. And first, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like dry. Okay, guys. While it doesn't look that bad dry, I feel like I need to wet my brush. Okay, guys. That's a little better. Okay, guys, while this shimmer is indeed cute, it's not the type of shimmer that's going to hit you in your face. The type that you can see from outer space. I mean, this is more of the type of shimmer you can see from the kitchen to the living room. Yeah. But it's cute. And as you see, guys, with this shade, I'm getting a ton of fallout. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I'm just going to keep it real with you real quick. When using this shade, I feel just like I'm using a BH Cosmetic Shimmer. And that's not to say the BH Cosmetic Shimmers are bad. That's just to say I could get this same performance for a fraction of the price. Okay, guys. Now going in with this plum shade here. I'm going to put that directly beside the turquoise shade. First, I'm going to try and apply it dry. Okay, guys. That's cute. But you know your girl Lily here. I'm going to wet my brush. Okay, guys. I'm finding... That this shade is performing just like the turquoise shade. I mean, it's nice and all, but definitely not anything spectacular. These are the type of shimmers that I feel may benefit a little better by using them maybe on top of a glitter glue. Unless, of course, you're going for something subtle, then you can use them dry. Or just simply wet your brush a little. And again, guys, these shades are not bad by any means, but they're just less than I expected from a $56 luxury brand palette. And guys, there is a ton of fallout. Okay, guys, now I'm just trying to marry the two shades together. Okay, guys, I feel like that's about as good as we're going to get. So, yeah. I'm about to go ahead, pop on my lashes, do my complexion off camera, and we'll be back to finish up these eyes, though. Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes, did the rest of my complexion off camera. These are actually the Ardell Demi Wispies. I stacked two pair because I did want a fuller look. For foundation, I used my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in Syracuse. For my concealer, I actually used my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I used the shade Golden Beige. I used my CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Setting Powder and Translucent Medium to set my face. I actually used my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder Foundation, and I actually use this in warm sand. For bronzer, I use my Natasha Denona Tans Bronze and Glow Palette. And I just use the bronzer inside of that. 
I use my Very Well Love Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This is in Warm Honey. I use that for my blush today. And for my highlight today, I use my Blush Nibali Face Palette from BH Cosmetics. And I actually use this highlight to highlight my face. And for lips, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Tara. Now that we've got that part done, let's finish up these eyes, though. Guys, I'm going to keep the lower lash line very simple. Mostly because I had no choice because there's only a few mattes in this palette. So, uh, first, going in with this dark brown shade here. I'm going to use that directly underneath my lower lash line. And guys, it is going under my lower lash line quite pigmented. Going in with this green shade, I'm going to use that to blend out my lower lash line. And lastly, guys, going in with this pretty cream looking shimmer, I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. And I wet my brush. Okay, that's cute. just because I want to see how this brown shimmer performs guys I'm gonna put that directly underneath my inner lower lash line okay Okay, guys, now I'm about to let my elf illuminate mist and said, bless my makeup, girl. I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, everybody, now that the demo is done, here are my final thoughts. On a by Terry, Paris by Night Pally. Now, while this palette is absolutely positively not the worst palette I've ever used, it's not the best palette I've ever used. First of all, guys, this packaging is absolutely killing the game. I don't have anything in my collection that looks quite like this. When I look at the package, you guys, it just makes me happy. And we're looking at the color story, guys, is nothing short of genius. I believe the color story absolutely represents what the package is named, Paris by Night. Because you've got the pretty turquoise and plum, and you've even got that beautiful coppery shimmer that you can put all over your lid. And then just put a little of the dark shades in the crease, and you are ready for the evening. And the detailing and prints inside the shades are absolutely stunning. It definitely adds a lot to the palette. But unfortunately, guys, I don't wear the packaging. As far as the mattes go, guys, I'm absolutely impressed with the mattes. I love the blendability. I love the pigmentation. I love how they glided across my lid. I love how they looked when they were layered one on top of the other. And they all blended out and gradiated rather nicely. If this were an all matte palette, I wouldn't be mad. But about these shimmers, though. put it to you like this guys as far as the shimmers go in this palette they are most definitely absolutely positively not $56 shimmers when applying the shimmers dry you get hardly any shimmer at all when applying them wet 
They look just like they do when you apply them dry. I really try to have more to say about these shimmers, guys, but man, I'm speechless. I would say the best shimmer I used out of the whole palette is this shimmer that I use as my inner corner highlight. I found when using that shimmer, whether I used it wet or dry, it performed like the shimmers that I'm used to using. But as far as the rest of the shimmers in the palette, guys, they were nothing short of underwhelming and disappointing. Which almost leaves me heartbroken, guys, because I really wanted to love this palette. But what breaks my heart even more, guys, is that I actually bought this counterpart, the Paris by Light. So let's just hope that palette performs better. So in short, guys, the palette's not horrible and it's not great. It's just okay. But had I known then what I know now, I would have most definitely, absolutely, positively not have purchased this palette. I would have most definitely saved my coin. So there you have it, guys. Up close and personal, honest and unfiltered. Again, guys, the palette runs for $56. You can get it on the Buy Terry website which I'll have linked in the description box in case you're interested in purchasing this palette. But I stand by what I said, guys, and that you can get the same quality, if not better, for a fraction of the price. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I did a first impression of the By Terry Paris by Night palette. And yeah, I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps, every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And all it gets great later, guys. And all it gets great later. So until next time, guys. Stay real. Stay positive. Stay up. And damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray.